Okay, here we have an example uh, of an RLC circuit. Okay, however, in this case, both R and sorry, both L and C have initial conditions, right? So this is the circuit R, L and C, and the L and C have their own initial condition, which is negative one amp uh, flow through the inductor and positive five volt voltage across the capacitor. So these two are the initial conditions. Um, so, so the first step is, of course, to transform the circuit into S domain. So here we can see that um, the resistor uh, value 10 over 3 and then the inductor value is 5 times S and then the capacitor value is 1 over SC which is 10 over S because of the SC is 0 0.1 right so this is the value that 10 over S and don't forget in this case the initial condition of the L and C so the initial condition for the inductor is represented in this case is represented by the uh, current source and the current source uh, is in this direction and then the voltage source is this polarity that is the typical uh, initial condition of the component However, however later on we will see that since the value is negative 1 we will change the direction of the current alright so the voltage source is 10 UT right so this is 10 UT so you can see that the Laplace transformation of 10 UT is 10 over S so this is the circuit in S domain Now in this case we will use superposition theorem right because the circuit has three different sources two voltage sources and one current source so if we use superposition theorem we can solve the circuit one source at a time and then um, finally we will add all of the sources to get the total source that is the superposition theory um, now if we look at here we will perform the solution one by one one source at a time so the other sources which are not considered in the calculation we will um, change it to zero okay so first let's solve the capacitor voltage uh, in the circuit of the circuit and going back to the uh, question the question asked us to find the value of the voltage across the capacity All right so that is the, the uh, question find the vol voltage across the capacitor here All right the voltage across the capacitor All right. So now, first step is to convert transform into S domain, circuit into S domain. Now the second step, which is here, says one, is to solve for uh, voltage V1, which is here, right? When the first source is on or the active, while the other sources is zero. In this case, this is V1 because we are referring one to the first source that we are now considering in the calculation. Alright, so from here we can use uh, 
nodal analysis right to calculate current in and current out so here these are all current going out okay. going out going out going out let's say the first current here. first current here so it is v1 minus 10 over s divided by 10 over 3 right v1 minus 10 over 10 uh, 10 over s divided by 10 over 3 and then the second current is v1 minus 0 divided by 5s v1 minus 0 divided by 5s and then the second uh, actually we have third branch here so here in this case it is zero right this is zero and then finally the voltage here or the current here sorry current here is actually v1 minus zero divided by 10 over s all right so this is 10 over s and equals zero because all currents are going in there's no current uh, so all currents are going out no currents going into the node all right so basically here we can rearrange the equation right come here and then further simplify uh, the equation then we will get to here right and then rearrange the equation um, to get v1 equals 30 over s plus 1 times s plus 2 and here we can use partial fraction decomposition to uh, rearrange or represent the v1 into two different fractions so that later on we can um, use a plus transformation table to inverse this uh, solution into time domain so this is the first step which is to calculate v1 okay, which is voltage from here to here when only first source is active while the other two are zero now let's look at the second step right here now the first source is zero the third source is still zero now we are looking at the second source second source is now active now the second source is a current source right it is a current source um, in this direction and the value of the initial condition is i0 over s and we know that i0 is negative 1m right so same thing we here we use um, we use nodal analysis right to calculate voltage between these two terminals right however in this case we call it we denote it as v2 to avoid mixed up with v1 all right um, so here we calculate the current going out of this node which is v2 minus 0 divided by 10 over 3 right and then the second current this direction is v2 minus 0 divided by 5s right and then here um, if we assume that the current is going this way and since the value is negative 1 right over s then it is negative 1 over s right and then finally um, if they assume this the current is in direction then v2 minus 0 divided by 10 over s okay so this is 10 over s and then same thing same procedure to simplify and rearrange the equation and finally we will get to this point using partial fraction decomposition to get to, uh, this form and then re 
use inverse Laplace transformation to get the V2. Alright, so this is V2 in time domain. And step one, we also can also get the can also get the uh, V1 in time domain as well. Alright, now we have V1 in time domain, V2 in time domain, and then next is to calculate V3 in time domain, and then finally we can just add them all together to get the total V. Uh, the total V across capacitance. Let's go to the final V. Uh, Alright, here. So here we have, we are looking at the third source, which is a voltage source. So the, the other sources are set to zero. Alright, in this case, V out is uh, 5. Yep. 5 5 over s so same thing calculate the current 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 and then current as well all right so the first one is v3 minus 0 divided 10 over 3 v3 minus 0 divided by 10 over 3 and then the second current branch right is v3 minus 0 divided by 5s right next is 0 because the current is 0 right and then the, the final final one is, is v3 minus 5 over s right v3 minus 5 over s divided by 10 over s v3 minus 5 over s divided by so same thing, same process to rearrange or simplify to get this and then uh, use for partial fraction decomposition to get this and then finally from here we can inverse Laplace to, do, uh, to get V3 in time domain. And then now all we need to do is to add V1, V2 and V3 to get the total voltage. So here we can see that V1 plus V2 plus V3, alright, we can all uh, add all of this to get the final V2 which is 335E minus T minus 30E minus 2T. Right, so this is the voltage uh, which is the voltage from this point to this point, right? which is also the same voltage from this point to this point this point to this point which is voltage across the capacitor right voltage across the capacitor 